Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, the concept is file I.O. operations. To create a file or to access the file contents, you should have a file handle. File handle is nothing but a structure which is used along with the operators to access the file in a certain mode like reading, writing or appending. You have to open the file first. For that, you have to use an open function. Open then give the file handle name followed by the file name with mode or you can use sysopen function. To access the file in whatever the mode you want, you have to use certain symbols for reading use less than, writing greater than, appending two greater than symbols, for reading as well as writing use plus followed by less than symbol, for reading, writing and creating use plus followed by greater than symbol, for performing all operations you can use plus followed by two greater than symbols. After opening the file handle you have to close it, so for that use close function followed by the file handle. Then to save the contents of the file, you can save the contents of the file into an array like this. Give the array name equal to file handle enclosed in less than symbol and greater than symbol. Now to print the contents in a file, if you want to write something to a file, then just use print file handle and then whatever you want to write to the file enclose it in single quote or in double quotes. To rename a file use a rename function. To delete a file use unlink function. Next is to tell a position of the file use tell function. Next is seek function which will point to certain position whichever you want. Now let us see an example. Let us see file operations in this program. For this I have created a file called test.txt where each line is a technology name. First of all open, give the file handle name, I am giving it as FHR, use less than symbol to read the file. If you are not able to read the file or if you have any permissions issue, just make sure you are giving a message like this. Die will terminate the script with this message. Use a while loop on this file handle. And print each line. Close the file handle. Let us test it. This is how we have read the file. In order to store the contents of a file in an array, just use array name equal to the file handle name. For each on this array, and display the output to verify all the content of the file is saved in this array or not. This is how you can save. Now let us see how to write to a file. For this use greater than symbol and to write into this file just use print file handle and then give the text whatever you want to write in that file. Let's say I want to write skill name. I'm writing to an existing file so this will be getting overwritten. If you try to run it and check the content of that file There is skill name. Now let us see how to append to a file. For appending, just use 
two greater than symbols. I'm replacing the message, let's say appending. If you can see the output of the file, appending message has been appended to this file. Now let us see how to read and write at the same time. Use plus followed by less than symbol for reading and writing at the same time. First of all, let us print the output. And now let us write. Let's now test it. We can see the output. First, the lines which are there in the file are read. Next is, we are writing into the file this message. Now let us see how to read, write and create file in the same line. For this, use plus followed by greater than symbol. and create a file like sample and print the message name and experience and try to read the file. See the output. This is how a file which is created and a message like name and experience is written into the file and we are also reading the content of the file by using the file handle. Now let us see how to read with sys open. For this instead of open just use sys file handle name and then the file name. After this write the mode. I want to read the file so I have to use read only. Now to read the content of the files just use the file handle and try to print the content of the file. While you are using sysopen, just make sure you are not using use strict and use warnings. This is how my file sample is read and the content of the file is displayed. Next, let us now see how to rename, delete, tell and seek the file. To rename the file, just use rename, the original name test.txt, I want to rename it to test1.txt. To delete a file, use function unlink by giving the file name inside the brackets. Open the file which we have renamed test1.txt for reading. So we have to use a less than symbol. Now use a seek function. in order to go to that position 25 and use a while loop on this file handle. Now let us know the files position. 
by using tell function. Let's now see the output. This is the output of tell function. We have pointed the position of the file by using the seek function and printed the position by using a tell function. Rename will just rename the file. Unlink will delete the file. You can also ensure this. And we don't have a file called test.txt here. We have a file test1.txt. And there is no file sample.txt because we have deleted. 